Robert De Niro panics. <laughs> if Trump wins, he'll come looking for me. Do you have the video, Rob? Because it's like, <laughs> it, if you can Adam, just yeah. play the video, play the video of De Niro. I mean, Dude. you know, uh, uh, go ahead, Rob. Just, just watch <laughs> this, folks. Enjoy it. The guy is a total monster. <laughs> and uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic. They want to fuck with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, hateful person. I, I, I never pay, play him as an actor sure. because he's, I can't see any good in him. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing redeemable in him. Oh, God. Um, and we have to, and whoever the people are who want to vote for him, and there look like intelligent people around there. Somebody, for some reason, it can't be. It cannot be. If he is, he wins the election. He, you won't be on the show anymore. He'll come looking for me. He'll, <laughs> like, they'll, like, they'll be what? There'll be look they'll things be, that happen that none of us can imagine. He's being serious. The he's, audience is laughing. He's, uh, he's being that serious. And so, by the way, this is full Trump derangement syndrome uh, an attack and he claims Donald Trump becomes president all this is going to happen right he's clearly having an episode so Trump is the threat to America meanwhile in New York City right now where he is from De Niro's from uh, Brooklyn the governor last week deployed 750 National Guard soldiers with long rifles M16s in the subways due to skyrocketing crime and violence which is caused a lot by the illegals set in. Who, who, who let these illegals in, Tom? Was Is it Trump? Uh, oh, in the last couple of years? Uh, Biden, Joe Biden has okay. been working hard and, to set new records. Thank you. And yet Trump is the threat. And give me a break, okay? And you said this, Pat. Is that it? I thought this was an act. Like, he's an actor. But what all this does, this negative record, rhetoric, it's further dividing an already divided country. And the most egregious thing, I think, the most unbelievable to me, is somebody, Robert De Niro, who I'm, I'm a, I was a huge, huge fan of his work. I've seen Goodfellas with my family, my brother, my cousins. I'll say 150 times. I'm not even joking, Pat. It just plays in the background. For someone, and God rest his soul, his grandson just died this year due to fentanyl overdose, okay? Why aren't you furious at this current administration? You should be ashamed of yourself because that fentanyl that came in and killed your grandson either came from China or it came from Mexico, okay? And guess what? Because of the wide open border, and whose fault is that again, Tom? Or Mexico is the distributor for China. Guess what? <laughs> Biden, not Trump. And Bill Maher, Pat, I don't know if you saw, Bill Maher just sitting there, and it, it, it drives me crazy with Bill Maher. A lot of us, we've even said, Adam, you said this, we all were like, yo, he's starting to wake up. He's trying to, he's, he's turning. He's a fraud. He has TDS as well. And uh, when it looks like Trump was not going to be the nominee, you saw uh, Bill Maher, like happy. He's always, oh, he's, he's saying right, right policy and stuff. Now that Trump is the favorite, he's back into TDS. And it's just, it bothers, it's boring. Tom, now this, Trump's the enemy this should again. not, I, I completely appreciate your passion. And I ask you to think about one thing. What? Why are they coming out saying irrational things? The beginning of that by De Niro, he sounded like making a rational argument. Listen to his tone. This is how he was delivering it. Um, he sounded almost rational. Almost. And then he gets to the end and they drop in the fear. They drop in the fear because they know their guy is losing. Exactly. So point one, they're going full TDS because their guy is losing and they're trying to use fear because from the liberal Democratic side, you can't put together a policy or position argument that makes sense to the American voter. Point two, Robert De Niro, you and everybody, you're such liars. There's an easy solution. Go to Canada like you said you were going to go in December of 2016. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm moving to Canada. Look, if you like, you, you look, many of you like Montana and you have ranches in Montana. It's just another hundred miles over the border. Go to Canada. If that's what you want. You're so afraid of things here. There are solutions to it. But they, they are terrified right now because their guy is so behind and they know it. <clears throat> and this is just coming out. But everything you said is correct, especially the point. Look in the mirror, Robert De Niro. Your own family member tragically is was an avoidable death that this president that 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 you claim to love so much could have stopped. And, 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 and Rob, I just sent you this clip on Slack. Patrick, he was asked about the, the crime in New York. Bill Maher asked him straight up mm -hmm. the National Guard. Look at this nothing burger answer. I, I, he doesn't he can't have an answer because he's he knows 
that it's it's a effed up policy from the sanctuary city shit. Rob, can you play this? The governor of New York now is putting the National Guard in the subway. What's a New Yorker? Look, what do you think look, of that? Look, what do you think they'd say if he did it? Well, if he did it, it's for another reason. Her, her doing it, I, I haven't heard about it. They just told me. He hasn't me heard shit about just, it, yeah. Uh, before, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I'm not happy about it, but, but I. But crime yeah. in New York. Uh, I mean, I, you know something look, about does that. Doesn't bother him. Uh, well, you I don't. Played it. it. It's happened yeah. to you. Look, look, look. Can't admit it. Can't admit it. Look, it's I a don't joke. Have got rid of the that's organized crime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, funny, funny guy. Look, um, I, I don't. I, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope. Uh, I don't know. You can't I give can the point. Look, look, by the way, because you know why, guys? He doesn't ride the subway. He's an elitist. He's protected by guys with guns. It, this is all bullshit fear-mongering, and it just drives me nuts. Like, Bill Maher should be more aggressive. Be like, and dude, just what do you, interview, hold on, you don't know that the National the Guard, meaning we're deploying soldiers, our soldiers, on our land in the subway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look to me, Matt, like, what are you talking yeah. about? When the local state fails, who bails them out? Men in uniform <laughs> yeah. for, with Uncle Sam. He's out of touch. He's just like Bill Maher, who says, California, I love California. I love Newsom. Yeah, because you're in the hills protected, you idiot. Come down to the ground where we're at and see how life really is for the average American. They're out of touch. To me, this is actually pretty simple. Um, he's Hollywood. What do we expect? Meaning, we think of Robert De Niro... Goodfellas, Casino, Bronx Tale, even Cape Fear, Raging Bull, Deer. We're thinking of him of as this badass, wild mafia, boss type dude. He's Hollywood. Big time. He's Hollywood. We saw what happened with Jimmy Kimmel, read the mean tweet from Trump. Yeah. The crowd went wild. Once he said, make America great again, I'll give you a guess who tweeted this. I mean, applause, applause, applause. We're expecting something different from De Niro because of the characters that he play. But at the end of the day, he's a Hollywood icon. He's never in a million years going to go against go against the message yeah. of Hollywood. But if you can't, so we, but you know what is you know what is uh, uh, great. Chas Palminteri the other day, who is friends with uh, Bobby with Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. and they did Bronx Tale together. And they have a relationship together. And, and Chaz always speaks very highly about uh, Robert De Niro and the stories. Chaz eventually just couldn't hold it. He just called that New York City, says, what the hell is going on to New York City? What is yep. going on with the security? So to people like this, you know, what, what, what eventually happens is that anybody you're close to, others can say whatever they want. I guarantee you Chaz saying something like that has more influence on De Niro than anything anybody else is going to say. He's not going to give a shit what anybody else is going to say. But if a Chaz, who is in the business, who made it to the top, I think he got nominated for an Oscar. I don't know if, I, I believe he got nominated. Yeah, he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor on, uh, 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 for Bullets Over Broadway. I mean, this, this guy is a legit, legit, legit actor. When we did Mafia States of America, the guy was a professional. And he says this has happened in New York. I guarantee you that goes to Bob. I guarantee you De Niro sees that. And he sits there and says, what do you think about this? Maybe to have a conversation offside. Maybe there is that happening internally, but Adam makes a point whether he's going to change or not. The chances of that are going to be slim at an age like this. This is what we're going to do. Anybody that places an order of, let's say, $50 or more, minimum one future looks bright hat. Because I want a million people this year wearing this gear. There were so many people in the arena independently wearing the Future Looks Bright gear. Mm -hmm. And it's so confusing for people who are pessimistic when they see somebody say the Future Looks Bright. But this is what I'm going to do. Anybody that places an order of, uh, uh, you know, $50 or more, okay, between now and Thursday, but specifically anyone that places an order, every, for every $50 you place an order, you get one ticket in the drawing, and I'm going to get... I don't know. I'm going to get four tickets to the next UFC fight. Wow. Okay. I don't even know where the next UFC fight UFC is. UFC 300. And I'm going to give two people two UFC tickets. Rob, if you can give me those. Sam, just bring it to me. Just bring it to me. It's okay. And here's what we got. These are the things that we have right now for International Women's Day. We just got these pink. Uh, 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 oh, look at that. Yeah. Pink future looks bright hats that are here. Sam, are these on the site? So Rob has. Let's make sure they're on the site. We got these two future looks uh, bright uh, women's hat, pink, to choose from. And then Love we got that. the new navy blue 
Navy blue, if you're like a police officer, we got the new navy blue future looks bright. Let's make sure, and these are on the site. Rob, can you show these things being on the site? You place the order of the hats. Oh, that blue is sick. $50 or more. For every $50, we're going to do a drawing. And on Thursday, I'm giving away four UFC tickets. That's, that's the no. one, right? The navy blue. And then, uh, Samuel, I don't know if I see the pink one on there. So if you can make sure that gets on there as well. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Make sure you place your order. Okay. It's uh, April 13th, Las Vegas. Perfect. UFC there you go. April 13th, month. Las Vegas. I'm going to give away four tickets. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.